One of the biggest decisions coming out of Life is Strange, if you've played the original from 2015, is Bay versus Bay. So saving Chloe versus saving Arcadia Bay. And it's a hard decision because the game is heavily influenced to skew you towards Chloe, actually. So we first see Chloe when Max is in the girl's bathroom. She's taking a picture of the blue butterfly and she sees a scene between Nathan and Chloe an argument that actually leads to Chloe being shot. That's when she first unlocks her rewind power and is able to save Chloe by going back to the beginning of the first episode where she's in Mr. Jefferson's classroom. So through the course of them reconnecting, it turns out that they had been best friends five years prior when Max originally used to live in Arcadia Bay. But she ended up moving to Seattle shortly after Chloe's dad died. And so Chloe changed a bit and they didn't really keep in touch Initially, they were angry and there was a lot of frustration that they didn't keep in touch with each other and why did she come back? But they let bygones be bygones and Chloe, you know, takes her to the house. They dance together. She gives her the dad's old camera, talks about Rachel. So this girl who Chloe became friends with after Max moved away. Max is a little jealous just because Chloe, you know, really described them as inseparable and they were going to run off to L.A. together. But then randomly, Rachel disappeared like six months ago. So in spite of never having met Rachel, Max, you know, felt for Chloe and that concern and was trying to help her figure out what was going to happen or where did the girl go. And I'll do a separate video on what actually happened to Rachel Amber. But this video is more about the Bay versus Bay conversation. So they start piecing clues together about David and Nathan and Victoria and Mr. Jefferson and everything that, you know, they think happened um, and so it's kind of, you know, heart wrenching. You see them become besties again and Chloe continually has to get saved by Max. I mean, there's several near death encounters, even after she rescues her from getting shot in the bathroom by Nathan. There's a train track incident where she gets stuck. Her boot gets stuck in the train track and she can't move. And so Max has to pull her off the train track or divert the train track to save her. There's another scene where, you know, Chloe ends up getting shot by Mr. Jefferson when they find Rachel Amber's grave. There's another scene where there's an incident in the junkyard with Frank. He accuses Chloe of stealing his money and that he owes, you know, he's owed that money back and he was threatening to shoot her. So, I mean, Chloe has a very uh, death prone life. She's always around the corner from something bad happening to her and Max has to just keep saving her over and over again. So after this five day adventure through these five episodes of the original Life is Strange, it basically leads up to this big moment, saving Arcadia Bay versus saving Chloe Price. And so the few last few minutes of the game, you walk through the timeline of everything they've been through that week and then you get to make the decision on who to save. For me, I chose to save Arcadia Bay. I took it as a bad omen that Chloe continually needed rescuing throughout the game. Like she was just attracting death everywhere she turned and that the universe was going crazy with all the natural disasters, birds dying, like all this crazy stuff that was happening to the town because Chloe was still alive and Max had to keep rewinding time to save her and save other people. So I, it made it feel like Chloe had to die to get the timeline set right and in the storm. Yes, their friendship was special, but I don't know if it's special enough to send the world into a tailspin. So that's why I chose to save Arcadia Bay. But it's a tough decision either way. I've seen other playthroughs where people have saved Chloe and let the bay get destroyed. You know, the new life is strange. Discover the new life is strange. Double exposure is supposed to let you answer how you answer at the end of this one in the beginning of that one to affect that timeline and i'm curious to see what what they do to bring chloe back if anything at all but i still believe i made the right decision saving arcadia bay and all the people that live there so let me know in the comments below did you choose bay versus chloe price and why did you make that decision